This is for my ladies who are healthcare and fitness professionals. And I really wanted to take the time to talk to you guys because coaching is very different. Coaching is very, very different. Um, for those of you that are healthcare and fitness professionals that also do that as a profession outside of coaching, um, because that was me. That was kind of the box, the arena that I fell into, as well as being a stay-at-home mom, fit mom, my profession was also health and fitness. Uh, again, if you don't know who I am, I am Allie Tessitore, the founder of Imperfectly Balanced, and I went live last night. There were some Facebook outage issues, so if you do not watch my live videos from yesterday, I have two parts. I have a part one and a part two, and I talked about the first part is really my story, how I began coaching, how Imperfectly Balanced evolved, and then the second half is three reasons why you want to be a part of our coach sisterhood and why you want to live your passion for health and fitness with us, and then kind of steps to become a coach. So make sure you watch those part one and part two. Those are from last night. Again, I'm so sorry. Facebook literally had an outage across all of Facebook for live feed, and it affected me. Uh, so make sure you watch my videos from last night and also make sure that you watch all of the other videos. I have a slew of videos that I have posted from Monday until yesterday and they're videos about who we are, what is Imperfectly Balanced, what is our mission, uh, who can be a coach, how to become a coach, how to get started. And then we've had coaches, coach leaders on our team throughout the week share their why for becoming a coach. We've had personal trainers, to nurse anesthetists, to flight attendants, to stay-at-home moms, to piano teachers. Um, you name it, we've had, oh, thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you, um, okay, headband is one of our, it's one of my team headbands. Um, yes, I'm completely out of these, I gotta get more of them. And then the shirt is Forever 21, of course my best. And the sports bra is Forever 21 as well. Everything online, I do all my fitness shopping online, because I can't go out and shop, I don't have time. Okay, but. Anyways, moving on. So make sure you watch those videos, check them out, connect with the other coaches, but I really wanted to, I have a handful, a gazillion women in here who fall into the category of healthcare and fitness professionals. And I, I wanted to talk about this because I know for a really long time, this was something I didn't talk about as a coach because I didn't become a coach to grow a business. I didn't become a coach to expand my health and fitness profession. I didn't. I didn't become a coach for that reason. I became a coach because I simply wanted to help more women change their lives and I really wanted to change my life. I wanted something more for myself, more passion, more purpose. Um, and if you wanna hear more of that, watch my part one video from yesterday. But I've discovered in my journey of being a coach for two and a half years now, how incredible coaching can be for healthcare and fitness professionals and how you can merge them and the sky is the limit when it comes to your business and having an online training and helping more people and impacting more lives and just growing your clientele and just it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and before I even get started I'm gonna go over a couple points with all of you I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet and if you have questions feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I will answer them because I know that a lot of you are skeptics I know that the hardest, and I can say this because I was one of them, the hardest women to get to become coaches are usually the healthcare and fitness professionals. A lot of times it's the holistic health coaches, me, it's the, the fitness trainers, it's the nutritionists, um, it's my gym girls, it's all of you because uh, Beachbody has this, you know, the stigma that it's a one fits all and you can't do what you're doing. You got to do this. You got to give up all of this to get there. And that's not the case. I was the biggest skeptic in the entire world from, is it a pyramid scheme? Um, is it, you know, is, am I really going to help people? Am I really going to help them with their health and fitness? Do these programs even work because I know what I'm doing is working. Do these nutrition programs work? Do the nutritional support, does Shakeology, does the, the performance line, all of the performance line, does that work? Do the boost that you can you know take every single day, does the turmeric and the probiotics, do all of those work? And I questioned everything because one, I was a registered nurse, two, I was a certified holistic health coach and nutritionist and I questioned it because I knew what I did was working 
and I didn't want to change things up. So I was a skeptic. It took me, ladies, an entire year. It took me an entire year to become a coach because I was a skeptic. I was probably asked every single week, one to two times, maybe more than that, to become a beach buddy coach. Uh, I was getting annoyed. I was pretty much at the point that I was going to block the ladies uh, who were asking me to become a coach because I was just like, this is not me. This is not what I want to do. Um, but the thing was, is that during that time, during that year of being approached to, to become a beach buddy coach, I was looking for something. I was, I was looking for a way to expand what I was doing, my love for health and fitness and my being a holistic health coach and being ready, being a registered nurse. I was looking for a way to expand in my community, but then also to women who had reached out to me through Instagram, through Facebook, through my blog. And honestly, I was really stuck. I was torn and I was, I was paying a flat rate fee for people to get my meal plans. I was leading for an entire year, free boot camps, workouts for women, no charge. I was doing all of that. And I was like, there has to be something more. There has to be a way to merge my one-on-one -on -one health coaching with my free boot camps and create something more that helped me help more women through online training. There had to be a way. So I became a coach. I became a beach buddy coach because I, I figured I have nothing to lose. I'm going to get a protein shake, which I thought was a protein shake, but it's really not a protein shake. It's your vitamin superfood shake, um, which there is a strict, strict protein shake that you can get as well for the performance line. I was like, I'm going to get that. I'm going to drink it. It's vegan, dairy free, gluten free. I love that because that was something that I wanted personally that because that was something I wanted for my own health benefits, vegan, dairy free, gluten free, soy free. I love that. Check chocolate check. I'll try it. And I had never tried the fitness programs before. I am an avid CrossFitter. Uh, when I signed up to be a coach, I was doing CrossFit for a year and I loved it. I loved CrossFit. I was doing CrossFit. I was doing my own workouts with my girls at a local boot camp that I was doing that I taught. I loved it. I also did Tone It Up. If you guys have heard Tone It Up before, I was doing Tone It Up online. I was a part of that community. So for me, I was like, I don't want to do these fitness programs because I know what's working for me. But I knew I needed to try something. I knew I wanted to try something because I was at home with my three kids and my husband did travel for work. And I, I knew that I needed some other options for myself when I was home and I couldn't get to the gym. But I also knew that I wanted to be able to provide something to my clients that didn't live local, that I supported and I believed in, but I also knew what they were doing. And I knew that it was effective. So I signed up to be a coach after an entire year. I signed up to be a coach and I went all in. I did, I went all in from day one. And it has completely changed my business. Honestly, like I said, I didn't know it was a business and it is hands down the most incredible, fulfilling career or business that I could ever imagine. You guys, I don't have to go back and work in the hospital as a registered nurse. I'm not having to work with just one-on-one -on -one clients. I'm able to work with 90 plus women a month in challenge groups and with my team. That's unheard of. It's amazing. So a couple objections that I hear a lot. These are some of my objections and they're probably objections that you have for me if I've reached out to you to become a coach or maybe a coach has invited you to be here. So my objections that I hear a lot from healthcare and fitness professionals, there's three. And there's probably a handful more, but these are the ones that came off the top of my head um, when I was thinking about this really, really pertaining to me was the first one is I didn't want to lose my brand and I didn't want to lose my niche market. That was a huge, huge, huge part of this because if you are a fitness professional and you're a trainer and you maybe have a website, you have a blog, or maybe you don't have that. Maybe you're just in your local gym as a personal trainer, or maybe you're a holistic health coach and you know we all have our mission we all have a different mission for why we do what we do especially if health and fitness is our profession we already have a mission um, it's our career we know what we want out of this and it's in us if I can say this and some of you guys can understand that 
you know, I grew up wanting to be a nurse because I wanted to help people. I grew up wanting to be in the healthcare profession because I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to be hands on. I wanted to help people change their lives. And I was passionate about that. It was in my blood. It was in my bones. So for me, um, I wanted to protect that. I wanted to protect that mission. I wanted to protect everything that I had created because before I even became a coach, like I said, I had a blog. I was leading free boot camps. I was on Instagram, I was on Facebook. I didn't have a big following, but I did have women that did reach out to me that asked for help. And I didn't want to taint or change the image, the brand that I had created, which was a mom of three who was overcoming anxiety, who was a recovering perfectionist, who was on a mission to help women change your lives truly from the inside out, to find their balance and getting healthy and to become imperfectly balanced. And I didn't want people to take that mission, that ministry, my heart, and then muddle the water with a business and with sales and selling challenge packs and everything. I was concerned about that because I had worked so hard to create what I had created, you know, over the course of a year. So that was my first objection was I didn't want to lose my brand and I didn't want to lose credibility with the women that had started following me. The second was, as I was afraid to be salesy. I was so afraid to be salesy and I will tell you this, I'm still not salesy. I'm not, I was afraid to be salesy and I did everything possible not to be salesy. And this is the thing, you don't have to be salesy because if you stay genuine to who you are and if you share your story authentically and if you be you, and if you just stay true to having the heart to help others, you're not going to have to be salesy. People see your heart and people want to do what you're doing when you lead by example. So that was, that's an objection. I get a lot from women. I don't want to sell. You don't have to sell. The third objection is one fits all mentality. You guys, I hear this so much and I was that person. And I say this because I hear it all the time. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a holistic health coach. I'm a registered nurse. I'm a physician's assistant. I'm a, I'm a chiropractor. I am a physical therapist. I am a group fitness instructor. I'm a CrossFit gym owner. I'm a CrossFitter. I'm an Orange Theory girl. I'm a marathon runner coach. All of these different titles, believe me, I've come into contact with. And they've all said to me, I can't do that because I do this. I can't be a Beachbody coach because I do weightlifting programs or I can't do this because I'm a crossfitter or I can't do this because I'm training for Ironman or I'm a runner a running coach or I can't do that because of this 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 and this but that's because if I can be honest with you and I'm gonna say this to you because this was me is you you're not educated enough bottom line bottom line that's it I was not educated because it's not a one-fits-all that's the beauty of this is that you actually attract more women to help when they see that you have a variety of options. There's not a one fits all package here. It's you do what helps you reach your health and fitness and you as the coach just help fill in the gaps of what they're missing. That's stopping them from reaching their health and fitness goals. So objections, you're afraid to lose your brand if you're a healthcare and fitness professional. You're afraid to be salesy because you don't want to lose your mission of what your business is and who you are as a professional. And then you have the one fits all mentality that how can you do both? All of those, throw them out the window because I had all of them as well. I'm just drinking my, my shake real quick. Hold on. I had the same exact mentality, identical. So why this works, why this works. I'm going to tell you guys straight up why this works. I'm going to tell you the nitty gritty of the income and I'm gonna tell you how to get started. Why this works. Everything is virtual. Every single thing about coaching is virtual. Virtual. I made a post a couple days ago about how I have a lot of people, I do have a lot of people asking me, how do I do the online training? How do you, you know, go, you know, national? How do you go international? How do you do all of that stuff? It's because it's all online. Every single thing is virtual. So when I was doing my holistic health coaching. When I was doing my local boot camps, I had to be physically there. I had to be physically present. I had to show up every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I had to have my workout ready. I had to have my speaker set up. I had everything tangible right there ready to go. If I was sick, I had to show up. If my kids were sick, I had to show up because people were depending on me in person. If I had a one-on-one -on -one 
101. A lot of times my 101 health coaching, I met people in person. Um, I don't have to do that. I can still do that if I want. And I will say that the mission, the heart of our team is community. I would say 80% of our coaches, I would even say more than 80% more than that of our coaches have local meetups for women once a month, every two weeks, once a week, once every three months. They have local meetups for women in their community because they want them to know that this is a safe place. It's a place of support and hope and community. It's sisterhood. But coaching is all virtual. There is no limit to what you can do. You can provide meal plans. You can provide workouts. You can provide nutritional support. You can do live videos. You can make them as real as in person, all with online training, all of it. All of my online training, all of my online training, everything I do is run in virtual challenge groups online. All of them, actually in Facebook. Every single one of them. I have women from Canada. I have women from California. I have women in New York. I have women, oh sorry, that phone's ringing. I have women from all over that are in my challenge group. And that's the best part, is I'm not limited to just Florida. There is no limit. Which leads me to clientele expansion. Clientele expansion, you are not capped. It goes hand in hand with everything is virtual. So if you work in the gym, if you work in an office, if you work maybe at a doctor's office, a uh, healthcare facility, you know, who comes in? It's like the next person comes in. You get the second person. You get the fourth person. It's like a handout of who gets who. You guys, there is no cap on how many clients you can have. There is no cap. You can have three clients a month. You can have a hundred clients a month. It's all about how much you want to grow this business and how many people you want to help. You can work anywhere, anytime. Your clients can work out anytime they want to work out. They can check in with their fitness, their nutrition, anytime they want. That's the beauty of this. It's amazing. You can grow your business, grow your clients, grow your challenge groups, grow your team through Instagram, through Twitter, through Facebook, through blogging, through Snapchat, through IG live story, all of that. Emails, email campaigns, going live, like pages. You don't have to go be physically at a gym and get clients. You don't have to go work at a healthcare facility to get people. You don't have to go to health vending events to get people, to get clients to help. Everything can be social media. Everything can be done through technology, through social media platforms to help you grow your clientele expansion. expansion, but it's all up to you. The third is that you get to merge both your profession, what you're doing, your healthcare profession and your fitness profession, whatever one you fall into, with an at-home business. And I say that because of this. That was me. But I'm telling you, ladies, every single I'm just every single thing I'm talking with you about right now is all me. And that's why I can speak to this from me to you because this is me. This is my story. You can take you working in the hospital, you working in the gym, you doing this, you know, taking all your time to do that. Fitness group and fitness instructor, CrossFit trainer, you know, Orange Theory instructor, physical therapist, whatever your profession is where you gotta go somewhere, you can take that and you can merge it with a mobile business. A business that you can do from your car line waiting for your kids from school. You can do it while you're on lunch break at your other business. You can do this business at nighttime when your kids go to school or when they're asleep. You can do this business before your kids wake up. You can do this business uh, anytime you want. This business, this business, you got set work hours. This business over here, this coaching business, in the long run, will catapult this business if you merge the two. It will merge the two. I'm telling you, I was doing the certified holistic health coaching and nutritionist. I was doing one-on-one. -on -one, and within three months, within three months of doing that, I took that and went all in and put every one of my clients into my group, online health and fitness challenge groups, all of them, because I was able to maximize my ability to help people, but most of all, create a community and support. Those one-on-one -on -one clients, they're missing support. They need more than just you, and you get to give that to them. 
which leads me right into the next stage here. So not only do you get to merge your profession with what you're currently doing with an at-home business, two sources of revenue. While you get this income, you are growing this business to eventually make what you're making or even make more, which is possible. Most, and I'm not saying all, most healthcare professionals and fitness professionals don't have their own nutrition line. They don't. And I say that because of me. When I was, before I did Beachbody, I was referring people to go to GNC and get the get vegan shakes. I was referring people to go get uh, shakes from other people, from people that were drinking other products, um, because I didn't have something to offer them. I was sending them to you know GNC, Costco, to Vitamin Shop to get other protein shakes. Like what's I'm trying to think of ones that I used to use. Uh, standard, the standard one. Um, standard whey protein. There's Vega protein. Um, tone it up protein. There's everything in the books and I would refer all of my clients and all of my women that I was working with to go buy products and nutritional support elsewhere and give their income elsewhere and I gained nothing at all. I gained absolutely nothing. So what you can do is when I say you can merge these businesses is that maybe you are a personal trainer and maybe you do weightlifting programs. Maybe you're a physical therapist. Maybe I'm going to say CrossFitter. I'm trying to hit every single platform here. Maybe you're a registered nurse like me and you just love health and fitness and women see how healthy you are and they're asking you for help. Instead of referring people to go use another nutritional product, whether it's a three-day cleanse, whether it's a 21-day detox, whether it's turmeric, whether it's probiotics, whether it's greens, whether it's fiber, whether it's Shakeology, whether it's pre-workout, post-workout, electrolytes, all of those you actually can supply now. You don't have to carry them in your home, but you actually get to say, hey, I know this product is incredible. I know that it's fuel for your body. I know that it's gonna fill in the gaps of your nutrition. I know it's gonna be your vitamins, your probiotics, your digestive enzymes. I know that when you drink the pre-workout, you're not gonna have heart palpitations. I know that the pre-workout doesn't have red dye or yellow dye, which creates cancer. I also know that all of the products are NSF approved, which is huge because collegiate and professional athletes can't drink any type of products that are not NSF approved, which beach bodies are. Um, also, the fact that none of the ingredients say, warning, warning, do not drink if you have heart issues, if you're pregnant, or anything like that. Of course, you want to speak to your doctor if there's supplements that you might eat, all that stuff. But there's other products out there that say, do not drink if you have, if you have anxiety. Do not drink if you have heart issues. Do not drink if you're pregnant. There's a reason for that. Our products are clean. They fill in the gaps of your nutrition and there is nothing, believe me, I have done my research, ladies. I am a nerd at heart. Believe me, I'm a nerd. I love to read. I love to research. There is nothing comparable to Shakeology, the ingredients in Shakeology, and the performance line that Shakeology offers. The performance line, it's incredible. The performance line, your pre-workout, your electrolytes for your workout, your strict protein BCAs that you take after you work out to help recover your muscles, the isolate protein that you take before bed, you guys, it's strictly protein. It's clean. It's not dirty. You actually can believe and support the products that you are giving and recommending to your clients. I know I don't have my own protein shake. I know I don't have my own electrolytes, but now I actually get to help my women with nutrition, but then I also can recommend products that will help them fill in the gaps and at the same time build a business for myself through doing that. So if you do CrossFit, if you do Orange Theory Fitness, if you do Camp Gladiator, I will tell you this because I've been to all of them, is that none of them, most of them, and I'm going to speak, I'm not going to say all of them, I'm going to speak to the ones I've been to. The CrossFits, my member, my CrossFit, my orange sherry that I've been to, the camp glider that I've been to, a couple other boot camps I've been to in my area, bar, bar workouts, none of them really focus on nutrition. None of them really have a solid nutritional support system. And that's what we can offer. 
that is what we can offer. Also, CrossFit, Orange Theory, Camp Gladiator, if, you have a, if you're a personal trainer, maybe some of your people only see you three times a week, which rolls me into the fitness programs. I'm telling you, the fitness programs are incredible. I was a skeptic. I'm a CrossFitter. I love CrossFit. I love weightlifting. I love intensity. I love being in the gym. And I was a skeptic. But these fitness programs are incredible. And it's not a one-fits-all. I have women who hybrid Pio in 22 minutes with CrossFit. I have women who do weightlifting in the gym and then add in yoga and Pio and Insanity Max with their workouts. It's all about doing what your goals are and reaching those needs of your clients and helping them. And that's what these fitness programs do. You know what every single person is doing. And that's probably one thing I love the most is that you know that every single person is on the same nutrition program. You know that every single person is doing a, a, a similar fitness program and they're drinking the same nutritional support. So you know that the results are going to be the same and you know that they're going to be effective. And that's what I love because it's duplicatable. It's duplicatable for your clients, for your growing team, for, for everything when it comes to this business. I know that we have some coaches that are macro coaches. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But macro coaches can also use Shakeology as a supplement. They can also use Recover, which is a post-workout branch chain amino acid shake to drink. They can still do the fitness programs with their macro because it works. It just does. That's the best part. When I was... um. Last summer when I was really into, I was really into CrossFit even more than I am now, I actually would go to CrossFit Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and after every single CrossFit class, I actually had 8 to 10 CrossFitters who would stay with me after CrossFit to do the 22-minute hardcore program. Do you know why? Because CrossFit can sometimes tend to make women a little bulky. Um and you get a lot of muscle gain, a lot of muscle mass, and if you're not on point with your nutrition, if you're not doing cardio, it's easy to bulk up, it is. And the women that did that program with me three days a week and also followed the nutrition, hands down they told me that they saw results, they saw dramatic improvements in their results and in their weight loss and in their inches and their leaning down and toning up more than they ever have before. And it's because they were combining what they were doing with an effective nutrition program that was meeting their needs. 21 day fixed nutrition program is macro. It is, it is macro, but you don't have to think about it. You don't have to count your points. You don't have to count how many calories you are eating. It's all given to you. The containers are perfectly ready, prepared to measure out what you need. How many containers, if you're in a 1200 calorie bracket, I know I'm gonna eat, four veggies, three protein, two carbs, one fat, another little fat in there, and two teaspoons of, of olive oil or almond butter or something. I know what my body needs and I see results. And it's maintainable. It's a lifestyle because that is what we want. So moving on from why this works. It works, ladies, I promise you, trust me. Next is how to make money, the nitty gritty. If I can be honest with you, Oh, this was the topic that I never wanted to talk about because I wasn't in it for the money. I wasn't in it for the business. But if you are already in the healthcare and fitness profession and you want to do more, if you want to help more, if you want to grow your clientele, if you want to honestly build a better business and make a better income and to have more freedom, then you got to know about this. You do. So this is the first thing. Every single nutrition product, every fitness program, everything that you would sell to any single challenger or client, you earn 25% commission. Bottom line, you earn 25% commission. So say for example, someone purchases the all access on demand fitness challenge pack, which gives you an entire year of fitness programs on demand, the meal prep containers to sort out, and the month supply of Shakeology. If someone purchases that, purchases that, it's $199, that's the retail cost, but right now it's on sale for $160. If someone bought it for $199, you're gonna earn $70. So think, if you helped three people, 
right there, that's, is that 210? Oh gosh, I'm so bad at counting math. You're instantly gonna earn an income, instantly. You're instantly gonna earn two or $300 a month just by helping three women a month with one of these programs to help them get started on all arenas, fitness, health, nutrition, and they get the best community ever of support. So you're in 25% commission off of everything. Then as you grow your team, and I will say this, growing your team is where the long-term income comes from. Growing your team of life-changing coaches, growing a team of women who believe in you, who support in you, who believe in your mission, um, that is when you start to earn team bonus cycles. And that is when coaches usually can start quitting their full-time job and they can make coaching their full-time job is through the team bonus cycles. Because long-term, you just can't build a business off of commission it's about building a team and getting women to do what you're doing into running challenge groups, duplicating your leadership into having a compound effect. And last is there's quarterly bonuses. When you advance as a coach and you are truly creating a business and you are growing, when you, there's a couple different milestones, but you can start getting bonuses every quarter. So four times a year, there are bonuses that average from $1,000 to $3,000, to eighteen dollars to $20,000, to $50,000. So there are bonuses and they're all different. That's an, just saying an average, all to, based on your, you know, where you're at and where you're growing your team, you get quarterly bonuses. So the sky is the limit. With this, with this business, the business model, it shows you exactly how to earn, the steps to follow, it's a straight path. You just have to go forward, reach those goals and hit your milestones and set your goals and really strategize with your upline coach, whoever that is, on what your goals are so they can help you. So how you can get started. And I will say this, I'm going to go back to the how to make the money of the nitty gritty. Um, I don't make a post about this, but I'm going to share this here because I'm talking to those of you that are treating this like a business and want to possibly merge this with what, what your business is. Um, I have my bachelor's degree in nursing. I also have a year of grad school done. I'm also a certified holistic health coach. I have a lot of education. And I worked in the healthcare profession as a registered nurse for six years. I also worked the float team. The float team as a pediatric nurse gave me a 3%, gave me a 3% extra you know, amount hourly. And I worked part-time. So I worked part-time 24 hours a week, which was part-time for nursing. And I made about, Twenty-four to thirty-six thousand dollars a year, part-time. Okay, two-hour shifts, two twelve-hour shifts, which really were fifteen hours. I had to get childcare um, for my son because I was working more when I had him, and then even when I was working contract with my second, I had to get someone to watch my kids when my husband was gone for work. So I was also paying for that. But I worked two days a week, part-time, twenty-two to thirty-six hours, and I say that because sometimes I would pick up an extra shift. And I went to school for that for four years. As a health, okay, as a health coach in my first year, and I say this, I say this, ladies, is that I went all in. I went all in from day one, not knowing what I was doing, but I was committed to helping women. I was committing to changing lives. I was committed to helping three to 10 women every single month. I was committing to growing a community, committed to growing a team. And in my first year, I made more than I did working as a part-time nurse. Now come on my second year, second year. Now as a nurse, I made a one to 3% annual raise, one to 3% annual raise, which is not a lot. In one year after becoming a health coach, actually two years, this is my two year anniversary. After becoming a health coach and merging, merging my holistic health coaching, merging my being a registered nurse, merging all of that, I made a 203% raise in two years. Going from my first year to my second year, I made a 203% raise and making a six-figure income. I say that to you because of this. This is your business. And you can live your passion out loud for health and fitness. And you can wake up every single morning excited about it. You don't have to go work at the hospital ed anymore if you don't want to. You don't have to go step foot in a gym if you don't want to. You don't have to go lead workouts every single morning if you don't want to. You can grow an incredible at-home business, helping women, creating a community of women who live life together and loving what you do and make a business out of it. Because I have done that. Yes, you gotta work hard. 
Yes, you have to treat it like a job and treat it like a business, but some of you are already doing that. So this is just gonna 10X what you're already doing and create a life by design and give you all of the dreams that you have been wanting for you and your family because I know it's possible. So how do you get started? The first and foremost thing I wanna to say to all of you is how to get started is don't change anything that you are doing. If you are a healthcare and fitness professional and you are already working with women with your health and fitness goals, I don't want you to change a thing. That's the beauty of this business is that it's about you. It's about your brand, it's about your story, it's about your business model and your, biz, your business mission. So if you're a yogi and you do yoga, stay with that. If you are a weightlifting coach, stay true to that. Don't change that. Lead with that. Lead with the most kick butt yogi instructor ever. If you're a weight trainer, lead with that you are an Olympic weight training coach and you love what you do, but you wanna help more women. If you are a nurse, lead with the fact that you wanna help women prevent and you wanna help them have support. You guys, this business is about you. Your brand, your story, your business, which is amazing. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be Leslie that's on here or Erica or Alyssa or Allie. You be you. This is your business. Then the next step is how to get started is then you will join my challenge group or the coach that invited you here, their challenge group, and you'll become an apprentice coach. You will see how we run virtual online challenge groups. You will see how we run online training for women. You will see how we do it hands on, how we do our daily post, how we check in with them, how we provide meal plans, workouts, nutritional support, uh, tips to help them see success, how we check in with them weekly to monitor their progress. You will see how we do that. At the same time, you will begin your new coach training. Everything is online, yay! You don't have to go to a class, you don't have to go commit an entire weekend to learning how to help people. You get to do everything through an online new coach training that I have pr provided that is self-paced. You'll get weekly calls to help you, weekly live power hour sessions to help you maximize your growth and your impact. Um, there's Instagram training, there's Facebook training. You will learn how to grow your network, how to help people everywhere, all from your home, while growing your other healthcare and fitness profession. This is your business. It is just like any other business, I will say that. If you're a personal trainer growing your own business, if you are a nurse practitioner, a certified nurse anesthetist, if you are a physical therapist, if you are a nutritionist, a dietitian, if you are building your own business, it's the same exact thing. Same exact thing. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes hard work. I will say with any business, if you research any small business, the first year is make or break. You have to go all in. You're gonna work harder than you're gonna get paid for because you have to build a clientele, you have to grow, you have to lay the foundation. But then when you do that, the blessings will come and you will see the fruition of your hard work. But I will say this, if you are a healthcare and fitness professional, you already have an advantage because you already have a market, a niche market, a brand, a target audience of women that you're probably already working with or that are following you. But you get to expand it. You get to help women all across the United States, whether you live in Florida, to Canada, to Ohio. And listen to this. This year, 2017, Beachbody is going international and most likely it's gonna to go to the UK. You guys, you can help women internationally with this. Incredible, so women that you connect with on Instagram, on your social media platforms, Facebook, through your blog, women that see what you're doing and connect with your story, you actually have an opportunity to help them if they live in the UK. You guys, that's incredible. If they live in Canada, wherever they live, you get to leave your mark as a healthcare and fitness professional, not just in your local community, but everywhere. You have no boss, you are your own boss. And the best part about all of this is that you simply get to help more women. 
you get to help more women change their lives. You have no limit to this. You have no limit to the amount of women you can help, no limit to the amount of women that can be in your fitness class. You have no limit on how many people can be a part of this, this, and that because everything is done online at home and you get to create the most kick booty community of like-minded women to grow a business with, to help you succeed, and we're in it together. You will never find a career, you will never find employees, you will never find coworkers that are like this. Because we're not coworkers, we're not employees, we are women living our passion together. We are living our passion out loud for health and fitness. We love what we do, it's in who we are, um, and we, we're family. We live life together in every aspect. We're all the same. We're, we come from all different walks and stages of life, but at the core, we're all the same. And we want to help women change their lives through health and fitness and through community. So that is it. I know I probably went a little bit long, but I really hope this helped all of you that are healthcare and fitness professionals see the objections. I was just like you. Why this will work for you, how you make the money, and how to get started and why this can be the biggest blessing in disguise for you to help more people and to grow the most incredible business that will forever bless you, your family, and then be able to pay it forward to others because it has forever changed my life and that is what I want for you too. So thank you all for listening. If you have questions or comments or anything, post below. 